Hey guys, this is Russian Alex Productions again, and unfortunately I'm doing a sick tutorial right now, because uh, I'm sick, on how to motion track the lines in my Sunlight Mini Edit. And I'm going to use the video as a reference again, because it is very popular, it has over 7,000 views on it, and thanks guys, keep on watching my videos. So here we go, let's start, shall we? Okay, new composition, make it, 4 seconds is my clip, and... You have to import the clip here. Click import. Then you're going to find your clip, which is example tutorial. I imported the clip, drag it to your timeline. And here you go, the, the clip is right here. Maybe you know, for for the sake of this tutorial for it to go by faster, I'm going to make it maybe this many seconds. So, it's going to be this this short or this long. Whatever you want to say and we're going to motion track this dude right here maybe right here or this dude we're going to motion track so for for this what you want to do is you want to save your first key uh save your first frame as a photoshop layer and i already have one here so just type in whatever and Photoshop layer right here. Now you have to go to Photoshop, have it open, open the file you just saved, which is the irock.psd file. It's going to show the frame right here, and I know it looks pretty sick. You want the weight of the line tool right here, which you're going to use line tool. You want the weight to about four pixels. It depends on your taste. I like it four pixels, and you want to put the line draw it like this and no maybe let's change the color to grayish you want to draw a line right here and right here for the sake of this tutorial I'm I'm not even doing it perfectly because I just want to rush through this and get my time under 15 minutes and you want it to, to delete the actual video clip layer. So here you go and hold up for some reason my brush didn't turn out the same. Step backward. So what you want to do do the brush again. <coughs> Just drag it so it'll be almost aligned with the actual other line. Now you want to delete the clip itself, and here's the you you just made a line. You want to save it. You you want to overwrite it as the same layer called iRock. You replace it. Yes. Okay. Close Photoshop. You don't need it anymore. Go to After Effects. You want to file import import file, and you want to import the iRock that PSD file as a merge layer file. Now, drag it on your clip, and here you go, here's the line. Kind of bad looking, but I'm just rushing through this. You guys can do it a lot neater, I know, I know you guys, come on. Put new layer, new, null object, and go to your video clip, the actual file, file with the video clip, and select it. You want to click workspace, motion tracking. Here you go. Now, you want to click on this file, I mean click on this layer, remember it's the video clip layer, click track motion, edit target as the null, null one or whatever the null object is, and you, where it says analyze, before, the, before you do that by the way guys, before you do any of this, I forgot, um, go to your text tool, go to your text tool and create a new text. Uh, okay. Here, step backward. Undo Add Motion Tracker. Go to All Panels. Now, what you want to do, guys, is create like a text or something. Since I'm making a dual touch, since I'm making a dual touch, I'm just gonna put dual touch. 
and uh, maybe make the dual or the Taj letters uh, black. Where is it? Where's where the color? Where's the color switch? And what the hell did I just do? Huh. Text. Make it black. Now we have the text. <clears throat> so you have to go to your clip, video clip, and go to motion tracking, track motion, make sure it's the target is on the null one object, click OK and press analyze right here and it's gonna analyze this guy's back right here because you want this guy and the line to, and the line you you made to be aligned click apply x and y dimensions and now you, you see that your dual Taj and your line are here now what you want to do is control select I rock here control click and hold control select I rock PS that PSD and dual touch what that's gonna do is it's gonna drag the clip here I mean not the clip but the thing here and it's going to it's going to uh, motion track it so now you see guys that the words are not even moving with this guy. What you want to do, since you got the null object already selected for this guy, you want to parent it up with the null object. So parent the irog.psd file, which is the line, and parent it to the null object right here, just by dragging like this. And you're going to see null 1 parented. And then the text, do the same thing for the text and maybe drag it over here now you guys see that it's actually moving along with this guy and you can maybe make it closer to it it's up to you guys really here you go let's make it cl closer this closer and the actual letters closer and now it's going to look like this Mo motion, motion track and let me look at the time limit okay I got some time and if you want to if you want to actually make add an effect to it just I don't know maybe opacity for the line then go to the IROC file which is the line click P for opacity and there's other ways you can do it I want to do the opacity way um, I like it and I want to switch up my editing sometimes so put a keyframe opacity as zero opacity as oh no my bad my bad that's a position what you want to do is click on the line layer and press T which is going to bring out the opacity and make a keyframe in the opacity put zero in so the line disappears and then put in a hundred wherever you want the line to appear so right here it's going to be a hundred and you guys see that it's slowly fading in to this and you can do the same thing you can copy these two keyframes edit copy go to the text layer and then edit paste my bad edit paste it should work right now and here you go it appears with the line and that's basically how I did my motion tracking for this uh, video and it's slowly the word slowly attached to to the to the person 
And, uh, yeah, guys. Lots of people have been asking me about this, and here I am bringing this tutorial. And you can switch up to your own taste and post a video response to this tutorial as how you guys did it. And it might be better. I'm not saying mine is the best. It might be better. It might be worse. I don't know. Well, it's up to me to judge, actually, because you guys follow my tutorial. I want to tell, I want to say thanks again for more than 7,000 views on my Sunlight Mini Edit. And another thing, I want to say thank you for my 1K subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. I've been increasing dramatically on the subscribers. And, uh, yes, guys, thank you. Watch my videos, comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace. This has been Russian Alex Productions.